In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve dosage calculations using the ratio and proportion method. In my dosage calculations videos, I have used various methods like dimensional analysis, desired over half, formula method, but today we're going to concentrate on this ratio and proportion method. So let's get started. With this method, you're going to be setting up an equation with ratios, and you're going to be trying to solve for a particular part of a ratio that you don't know, so that in the end, once you calculate your answer, these ratios will be equal, hence proportionate to each other. So ratios are often expressed in fractions, and what we want to do is we want to get a known ratio and we want to get an unknown ratio together. And this information is going to come from your problem. So for your known ratio, how you create that is you put your dosage you got, so this is the dosage that you have on hand that you're supplied with here, that's going to be over the volume that you have on hand. And this should be equal to, once we solve everything out, the dose ordered, which is the dose that the provider has ordered, you'll put that number there, and that's going to be over X. This is what you're solving for. This should be the amount to give. Now there's some things I want you to remember about ratio and proportion that you have to make sure you have checked before you actually go and solve the problems. First of all, you want to make sure that the units of measurement that are used with these are in the same order and that they match before you go and cross multiply because that's how you solve these is you do it crossways. For instance, you have milligrams here, milliliters here, you need to have milligrams here and milliliters here. Everything should match up. So let me solve this problem up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Our problem says the provider orders 25 milligrams by mouth BID, that's twice a day. You are supplied with 50 milligrams per tablet, so each one tablet has 50 milligrams in it. How many tabs or tablets per dose will you administer? So that's what we're trying to figure out. That will be our X, our tablets. So let's just first get our, unknown, get our known ratio created. Okay, that's the dose, dosage we got. We got 50 milligrams. Volume we got, just one tablet. Okay, those two things equal to each other. And then that equals dose ordered, which was ordered 25 milligrams. And we're trying to figure out tabs per dose. So that's tablets. Okay, before I cross multiply, let's do a little check. Are these in the same order? They are. Do their units match? They do, so now I can cross multiply. So 50 times X is 50X equals, bring down your equal sign, 25 times one is 25. Now I need to get X all by itself, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna divide 50 over here. That cancels out 50. What I did to this side, I also gotta do over here, so I'm gonna divide that out. Bring my x down, my equal sign down, that gives me 0.5 tablets, because that's what we were trying to solve for was tablets, so tabs equal 0.5. That's our answer, but let's just make sure that's really our answer. So let's just plug that 0.5 into this and just work it and make sure that these two ratios are actually equal. So I'm gonna quickly rewrite this for you. Okay. Plugging in our 0.5. Multiply everything across from each other. When you do 50 times 0.5, we get 25. When we do 1 times 25, we get 25. And are these numbers equal? They are, so this is correct. Now let's do a problem where we gotta take a little bit of an extra step. So this problem says the provider orders two grams IM, so intramuscularly, times one dose. You're supplied with 1,000 milligrams per 2 ml vial. So on this vial, it says for every 2 ml you withdraw, there's going to be 1,000 milligrams. But we need to give 2 grams. So seeing how some things are different, our units of measurement. How many milliliters per dose will you administer? So let's set up our ratios. First ratio we're going to set up is our known ratio. This is what we're supplied with that we know we have. So the dose that we know we have, we got, is 1,000 milligrams. So we're going to put 1,000 milligrams there. And our volume that we got is 2 milliliters. We're going to do equals. Now over here with our unknown ratio is going to be our dose ordered. 
provider ordered two grams and we're solving for X, what are we trying to solve for? Milliliters per dose, okay? So let's do our checks to see if we can cross multiply yet. We in the same order, okay, we got like the gram units up here, we got the milliliters down here, okay, we got the same order, but do the units match exactly? Here are these units match exactly, but we have milligrams here and grams there. So they don't. Therefore, we need to pull from the metric table some conversions. And what I'm gonna do, you can do either way. I'm gonna convert this to grams, but you could have converted this to milligrams if you wanted. It's whatever you prefer. So here, I'm gonna figure out how many grams are in 1,000 milligrams, which is pretty easy. So 1,000 milligrams we know equals one gram. How I know that is from the metric table and you have to memorize that information. So I'm gonna just re, actually I'm just gonna delete this and just put that in up there, one gram. So now, gram, gram, we're good to go. So now we can cross multiply. So you see that extra step that I just did there that I didn't have to do in the previous problem because the units matched up, but this one didn't and I wanted you to see how to do that. So one times one X is one X. Bring down your equal sign. Two times two is four. We need to get X all by itself. It likes to be lonely. So we're gonna divide that in itself. That gets rid of it. But what we did over here, we have to do over there. And we're gonna divide now. So four divided by one, X equals four. So X, what did it represent? Milliliters. So it's four milliliters. That's our answer. But let's just double check it, make sure it's right. So again, I wanna quickly write this out. Goes four here. Cross multiply everything. Four times one is four. Two times two is four. They are equal, so this problem is correct. Now before I wrap up this video, I wanna quickly go over another way that sometimes people write these ratio and proportion problems, particularly the ratio part. Whenever they set up these ratios, instead of using the lines and the equal sign, for the line, they will use two dots like that, and then for the equal sign, they would use two dots like that to represent that. So if you're required to do it this way, I just wanna quickly show you how to do it. Taking this problem again into mind, we are still gonna follow like the still, the known ratio and the unknown ratio. And we're trying to solve them to make them equal. First, what we're gonna do is the dosage you got. Again, what was that dosage we got on hand? A thousand milligrams. And then we need to plug in the volume you got. So a thousand milligrams to two milliliters is two, that's our double dots. We're gonna plug in the dose ordered, which is two grams. Two grams is two X, which we're trying to figure out milliliters. Again, you wanna confirm before you actually start solving that they're in the right order and that you got the right units. So you're gonna look here to here, the first ones. These are like the same type of unit and these are the same unit. Now, are they in the same exact measurement? Gotta make sure. Milligrams, grams, not milliliters, milliliters, yes. So we need to do a little converting before we actually solve. And we already learned from the previous problem that, and I wanna convert this to a gram. So a thousand milligrams equals one gram from the metric table. So I'm just gonna quickly rewrite this. <laughs> one gram is, one gram to two milliliters is two, two grams to X, which is milliliters. Now I'm ready to solve. Match, 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 same order. And how I do that, because before you cross multiplied, here you're going to outer multiply and inner multiply. So again, outer, inner, that's how they go together. So one times X is one X, and then bring down these is to your equal sign. Two times two is four. And we're gonna do the same thing because we gotta get X all by itself. So we're going to divide one, divided by itself cancels out. That leaves us with X, bring down our double dots. And we're gonna divide over here because what we did over here, we have to do over there. Four divided by one is four. And so our answer, because X represented milliliters, is four. So that is how you set that up.
Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this dosage calculation series, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.